Greetings from SoFi Stadium. I am Luke Johnson, your Saints beat writer for the New Orleans Times Picayune. I'm joined with uh, Jeff Duncan here, our sports columnist. Uh, we just watched the Saints beat the Los Angeles Chargers 22 to 17 in uh, preseason game number two. Uh, a lot of good things to take away, some bad things to take away from this one, and uh, just really, honestly, just some some kind of weird stuff. So we're going to start there, Jeff. Uh, what was this week like? What was today like? Um, just take, walk us through that. Well, look, I, I think it was a crazy historic week here, right? I mean, we come to Southern California, we're not expected to dodge tropical storms. This was kind of an unprecedented historic event. It's kind of crazy they even played the game tonight. But look, the Saints wanted to play this game. I, I know a lot of people thought they might cancel it, but talking to the officials afterwards, they were already out here. They said it would have been different if they were had to fly into a storm. But, so, but because they were already here, they wanted to get in the work. And I think they had to come away feeling good about themselves on both sides of the ball. We saw a lot of takeaways, a lot of sacks. Uh, they kind of dominated this game. Now, I know it was mostly reserves on both sides of the ball, but I think Dennis Allen on that flight home to New Orleans tonight and his staff are going to feel good about the work that some of these young guys that we've been seeing flash in training camp a lot. The Jake Hayners, Kendra Millers, Brian Brzee, Peyton Turner, Ike Autumn, a lot of guys we've seen make plays in training camp practices made plays tonight in the game and I think helped bolster the confidence of this team about their depth going into next week. Yeah, I mean, I asked the, the last question in Dennis Allen's press conference. I was like, what did you learn about your team this week? And he said, I came away from this week feeling like we have a really good football team. Um, and I, I think we saw that. Um, there's a lot of stuff to be encouraged by this week. Uh, I know Jeff and I both really like the performance of Derek Carr in the joint practices. We saw plenty from him last week. Didn't need to see anything from him today. Um, you know, I was really encouraged by some of the performances by the young guys. Kendra Miller, look, we know he can run the ball. It, it hasn't shown itself uh, in these preseason games yet. He's, he's not averaging this. You know, he's, in fact, his, his yards per carry is something like right. one point whatever. Uh, but we see the, the running burst in the practices. I think once he gets behind the first-team offensive line, that the big runs are going to be there. But the important thing is we're seeing him do all the other stuff. Uh, today he had a really nice blitz pickup. He had a 27-yard catch, and it wasn't an easy catch. It was a wheel route out of the backfield. He lost the ball on the lights. He had to make a diving catch on it. Punches it in from seven yards out on the very next play. And, and look, we see him do that. We see Brian Brzee come up with a, a fumble recovery. We see Peyton Turner maybe starting to finally come around the corner here uh, with a strip sack. He's been having, I think, a pretty nice camp. Nobody's been talking about him a whole lot. So they've got a lot of young pieces that they're adding to a, a really solid veteran core. And if those guys are able to continue to play at this high level, Maybe they have something here. Yeah, look, Lucas Kroll, we didn't mention him, made a great contested catch down the field. We've seen him make those kind of plays in practice, so it was good to see it translate to the field. And look, I guess if you're looking for a negative, well, look, look, one last positive. I think don't think they had too many injuries tonight, right? I think Calvin Throckmorton came out of the game with an injury. Uh, Jake Hayner got his bell rung, and he went back into the game. That was good to see. I thought he played well in the second half. And, uh, but the negative, I think, has to be the penalties, 14 penalties. If, if it were an outlier and you'd say, oh, you know, there's a lot of backups in the game, that you, know, you could attribute it to that. But they had eight penalties last week against the Chiefs. We know they had a lot of pre-snap penalties last year. And they had some pre-snap penalties in these joint practices. I know one practice I had them with four. The other practice I had them with three. So it's something they got to get a handle on and try and determine is it just all the new faces in the lineup or is this is something – that uh, could be a lingering issue that goes on to the season. And the first thing that Mickey Loomis told me when I saw him in the tunnel down there after the game was, we've got to get a, a, you know, a bead on these penalties. So it's the first thing that was on his mind as well. That, to me, was the one negative out of tonight. Um, I'll get another negative here. Um, and that is, this is two straight preseason games now where we've seen them kind of get burned by quarterback scrambles, mm -hmm. uh, quarterback runs. And this is something that has just continuously been a problem for this defense. I don't know what the deal is, uh, but they got a lot of really good defensive players, and they, for whatever reason, can't keep track of the quarterback. Uh, I think the, the Dennis Allen said in his press conference today, I don't know the stats in front of me, but something like 60 yards on scrambles tonight. Uh, they gave up, I think, a 30-yard scramble last week in the fourth quarter. And this is obviously, you know, we're talking about the second, third string defenders here. But schematically, there's something they're doing that is uh, making those lanes open up. They got to get that nip in the bud because you know, they're not playing this like murderer's row of quarterbacks this year. But you can make 
decent quarterback really play decent quarterback play really really great if uh, you're adding 20 25 yard scrambles in there uh, so they got to get that figured out um, but I think overall we're talking about stuff that's fixable mm -hmm. right and we're not talking about um, Wow, they look old. <laughs> yeah, look, it was a worry of mine going into this year. Yeah, and the other thing, I mean, they, Mickey Loomis made this point. I mean, this is a really good team that they went against this week. Uh, you know, the Chargers have some elite players, Pro Bowl level talent, an elite quarterback. So they got a lot of good work, especially in those joint practices. And I think you could come out of that saying they stood toe to toe with the Chargers, who are a playoff team a year ago. So I think that's why Dennis Allen is sort, sort of chesty right now, because I think he now has a really good measuring stick for what this team can be, the potential they have. And they've still got a lot of, a lot of moving parts that they've got to plug in. But they've got a lot of guys that they're milking for injuries to get healthy again. So this team, I think, is potential uh, really you have to be, feel really positive about them coming out of California and where they're going in the, in the weeks ahead. All right, guys. Well, the Saints will be wrapping up their preseason slate next week against the Houston Texans. They will not include joint practices. We found out after today's uh, game that they are canceling joint practices. Houston's got a bunch of injured players, and they don't think they're going to be able to get a lot out of it. So uh, we'll be out there on the, the practice fields watching the Saints and only the Saints uh, until they wrap up their preseason a week from today in the Superdome. Um, hopefully, we're going to be able to get back to our place tonight. Yeah, let's I don't know. hope so. We'll see if there's uh, flooded freeways here in Southern California. Uh, but for now, uh, it's me and Jeff Duncan coming to you live from SoFi, and we'll be hitting you up from New Orleans next week, hopefully. Let's hope. <laughs>